Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about classification of amino acid. I need your hypertainment and I will make easy for you the classification of amino acid. The topic is classification of amino acid. How amino acid can be made easy? Okay, so this is our topic. So there are two kinds of the classification. First classification is based on structure. There are seven groups and second one is based on nutrition required. So now first we are going to discuss about based on structure. Based on structure. In the based on structure there are seven group. Seven group. And I am telling you, you will never forget these seven group and their amino acid name. Okay, let us start. So first group is aliphatic amino acid aliphatic amino acid okay first i am writing the all name of aliphatic amino acid then i will make it easy for you guys okay so first one is glycine second one alanine third one is valine fourth one is leucine and last one is isoleucine now how we can remember these all kind of amino acid or Till the long time okay so for i am giving a mnemonic on this you can remember this aliphatic amino acid by a mnemonic village okay generally for the hint we can remember the aliphatic aliphatic is similar word as a elephant in the pronunciation and we can say elephant elephant is living in the village here v is indicating to the valine i and l is indicating i for iso and for leucine iso isoleucine l for leucine a for alanine g for glycine and e for essential essential here we can say which amino acid are essential so valinine isoleucine and leucine are essential amino acid so it is very easy tricks for you guys you can remember till the long time okay so this is our first group of based on structure is clear any doubt okay let's go on the second group second group is second hydroxyl group amino acid okay so here two amino acid that one is serine and second one is tonin so how to remember we can remember hydroxyl group amino acid by a mnemonic as he set where set is a name of person okay he means high set so high is indicating hydroxy hydroxyl and S E indicating serine and T H is indicating threonine. The second amino acid group is our next group is acidic amino acid. Third group is acidic amino acid group. I'm writing name of all amino acid that acidic have. So first one is aspartic acid second one is glutamic acid third one is asparonogenic acid asparagic acid and last one is glutamine so for this acidic amino acid we can remember by a mnemonic as glass glass and acid as you know guys all all acidic experiment is and by using glass container okay so here for the glass gl is indicating glutamine and glutamic acid whereas as is indicating aspartic acid and aspartic okay and acidic is acidic amino acid so very easy glass and acid okay next group is 
Fourth, basic amino acid. Amino acid. Group number four, basic amino acid. I'm writing the name. First one is lysine. Second one is arginine. Third and last one is histidine. As you know, if you play a song in the hall, hall, okay, if you will play a song in the hall, that sound will be effect as a bass sound of speaker, okay. So here you can remember this word by bass is basic, bass is basic and H for studying, studying A for arginine and L for lysine. So base sound in the hall okay next is aromatic amino acid aromatic amino acid here i am writing the name of amino acid that first one is tyrosine second one is tryptophan and third and last one is phenylalanine so for this group we can remember by the mnemonic is T T P and what is TTP in our medical term? That one is thrombotic, thrombocytopenic, purpura. Okay. So here, if you will see T for tyrosine, T for thrombotic, and you can say here is R O. Here is also R O. These are very similar word. Like in next one is thrombocytopenic. There is T, T, R, R, T O P, T O P. Okay, very similar. And P for purpura. And P for phenyl alanine. Okay. So if you will practice, then it will be easy for you. Next is number six. Next is amino acid. Amino acid group. Okay. So in this amino acid, there is only one. That one is proline. Okay. How to remember this? We can remember this by this mnemonic. I am pro. I am pro. So here I am is indicating amino. Amino and pro is indicating for proline. Next is number seven group. That one is seven, and the last one. That one is sulfur containing amino acid. For the sulfur containing amino acid, we don't have any kind of that hint. Just remember only rest of two amino acid. That one is cysteine and methionine is containing sulfur containing amino acid this is our first classification based on structure there is 20 amino acid so here you can write total total amino acid is 20 that is done next next classification that is based on nutritional required so our heading second classification that one is based on nutritional required based on nutritional required so here three kinds of the amino acid first one is essential amino acid essential amino acid in the essential amino acid it means we need to take in the diet it means it is essential for our body it is not producing in our body so you can write here not produce in body Second point you can write here required in the diet. Required in the diet. Okay. Next group is non essential amino acid. Non essential amino acid. It means these kind of amino acid we don't need to take from outside. I mean, it means we don't need to take these kind of amino acid with the diet. Okay. We can say these kind of amino acid produce in body because these are non essential. Essential means we need to require in our body with the diet. Okay. And next one is semi essential 
amino acid semi essential amino acid it means we need to take with the diet or we don't need to take with the diet it is required in growing children first you want if you want to write you can write require in growing children or maybe it required during pregnancy or in the lactation okay for example if you want to write you can write like example arginine second example is histidine okay so these are our amino acid now our next amino acid is 21st amino acid 21st amino acid we used to call selenocysteine selenocysteine it is formed by formed by serine okay serine its codon is codon is uga okay codon is uga next amino acid 22nd amino acid okay that is pyrolysis sign pyrolysis sign its codon is uag okay so i hope i clear you everything and you will remember for till the long time by using these kind of mnemonic thank you very much and all the best